There's a uh, argument on Twitter between Max and Ben about PvE versus PvP difficulty. Fun. Fun. Let's go. I'm sure that'll that that could potentially turn into some fun stuff for the WoW community. We'll see. I don't really use Rorschach that much right now, but I'll put it here. Yeah, I have Execute now, though. Well, I mean, I don't have it right now, but I, I could go learn it. Just Neo. I know we're, we're pumping now. We're pumping now. Need more Rage. More Thunderclaps. I don't know. I played the game, I just didn't know how to... Like how season one played? Oh. This, this season has a lot of, like, cool stuff going on. But, yeah, I mean, it, it plays well, and I think it just continues to get better. But, yeah, the stuff that you get to mess around with, like, right now to play with your build, I think is even better than last season. So. There we go. Race it twice. I did. Sorry. I did. I wanted to double check. Yeah, I don't know. I, mean, if it, I, I think increasing participation in the PvE and PvP side of things would be cool. I mean, I wouldn't mind doing Mythic Plus and rating and stuff. It's just like, I think one of the main things for me is just having people to play with, just having a group to, to do stuff with. But. My gaming right now is kind of tricky anyway. Like, we're kind of just getting back into the swing of things, and it's hard for me to tell, like, what the best course of action is for some of it, you know? You feel me? What is my... What is the best way for me to invest my time from a content perspective as much as anything else, right? So... That's kind of one of the main the main things. It's like, what are people interested in, you know? So, sometimes it's going with the flow a little bit. You're always doing big damage. Ripping that threat. I see you, big fella. I see you, big fella. Don't mind if we do. Hey, Yeti, thanks for the power-up, bro. Yeah, sorry, the, the bot, this doesn't like links, that's that's why they got timed out. That's all. The bot just doesn't like links. But yeah, sure. I think it is undeniable that PvP is harder than PvE, like there's no discussion, but like the fact that they're having a little... Twitter talk about it, I think, is and getting the community involved is great. But yeah, I mean, it's obvious. Like, there's no... Like, PvE is, is challenging, and you have to, like, really be sharp with your team and, like, you know, do the work to get your character strong and everything, but PvP is on another level, like, completely. So. <laughs> no doubt about it. But the people who play WoW at high levels in PvP and PvE are both, like, good WoW players, but yeah, there's just no... There's not really, like, a... A real comparison. I think PvP players would have an infinitely easier time going into PvP. Or PvE than PvP. Or PvE players would have going into PvE. I'm, I'm saying it completely wrong, but... I've also been just... I've been playing Classic for like three hours, so four hours, so I can't... Rain. You know what I mean, though. But yeah, I mean, I think that players who are like high-end PvEers would probably also be able to figure out PvP pretty fine, but... I think that... PvP players are doing something different than PvP players, just in general. You hate the gear reset every expansion? <clears throat> well, <clears throat> a different way to think about that is you, you gotta have something to do in a new expansion. Like, you want you want to have it to be a gear reset, but I, I think that, like, you can really feel it in WoW right now. It's like, each, each patch is like, very much just its own thing, but yeah. PvP is way easier than PvE. You do both. Um, like, are you talking about like a regular battleground? 
because playing Arena at a high level, I think, is definitely harder than, like, Mythic rating. RBGs? Right, so R RBGs. I mean, <laughs> yeah, it depends on what we're talking about here. Usually, when I'm talking about, like, high level, like, the highest level of PvP you can do is Arena. Yeah, Rated Battlegrounds, I don't think, are, are harder than Arena. Arena is what I have in mind when I'm talking about, like, challenging like, PvP content. 2v2? Right, so, 2v2. Maybe I should, let's say, 3v3. But yeah. Def definitely, uh... Another level. What's this? Thank you, my boys. PvE has add-on set of every mechanic. Yeah, PvP has add-on set announced like enemies' abilities too. Definitely helps in both. Definitely. Okay, I don't need the auto shredder thingy. We'll just see it. Don't need it. Come here, let me stomp on you. That shredder? No, that's not for Avenger. That's for Warrior Quest. No better than that. He knows. He knows. There are more mechanics in PvE. What's your What's your highest 3v3 arena ranking? I'm curious. I wonder. Cause I think there 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 is more going on in PvP. Just facts, but I'm not being trying to be disrespectful to PvE, but it's just a fact. And PvP can even get kind of scripty too, but it's you're, it's not going to be scripty unless you're really, really, really good and experienced. And like both teams are really good and experienced, then it gets a little scripty. But yeah, I don't know. It ain't scripty for a while. Definitely, sure. Twenty one hundred, sure. Okay, so um, again. You haven't experienced the highest level of PvP, right? So that's that's kind of what it is. It's like if you were doing normal dungeons or normal raid and you were saying, no, this is way easier than you know, whatever. It's like you, you you're not you're not really experienced with what we're talking about, right? Do you mythic raid and stuff? Because I, I, when we're having the discussion, my my assumption is we're talking about like the highest level of content that you can get to. Like I don't think you're saying like normal dungeons are harder than battlegrounds. It's like okay, maybe. But I don't know. Yeah. I think what we're talking about is like super top end mythic rating versus super top end like arena. But. The, the, the only thing that really comes to mind, this discussion is different, but I like it when PvE players are encouraged to go do PvP. And I actually don't even really mind when PvP players are encouraged to go do PvE. It kind of helps you, like, play the whole game. But I think it's good for participation overall, but right now there's, like, a super hard division. Right? There's, like, there's really nothing that you really need to do for uh, PvE-wise for PvP. So you just don't, right? Cut it out, Miss Beans. Miss Beans. Hey, Jace, thanks for the 30 months, man. Big flex for you. Appreciate it, dude. Thank you, thank you. PP always varies. Well, what I'm saying is, like, at really, really high rating, it actually doesn't. It has some variance, for sure. But sometimes, you'll, like, see patterns, and, like, certain teams will play a certain way into each other. But you're not going to see that for a long time. And it only happens when players are really, really good. But you'll see like certain setups like frequently, like you can sort of understand like something's 
you know, like a like a rogue mage's setup is gonna happen as often as they can get it. And doing certain things will make it delayed in certain ways, and they'll have to respond in certain ways. So there are some sort of like predictable elements of PvP too, but it is different, yeah. And big show thanks for the 14 months as well, man. Big flex for you, appreciate it, dude. Thank you, man. But I do kinda like it when there's some crossover. Of difficulty, yeah, that's fine. But I, I feel like the difficulty question is like, there's no, there is no question really. Like PvP is definitely a different ball game than PvP. And just for just for discussion's sake, I do think that PvP players, high high rated, experienced PvP players, would be able to figure out PvE stuff better and do better in PvE than high rated like PvEers would in general. I, do, I definitely think there would, there would be PvE players who, without PvP experience, could go and tear it up in, in PvE. PvP just fine. I know there's a lot of players who do both. And I can speak from experience that uh, players who do both PvP and PvE, like, do really good damage a lot of times because they know how to do damage. And doing damage is big part of PvP, big part of World of Warcraft in general, just pumping. Makes a big difference. Gear aside, like whether you have PV gear or not, doesn't matter. Just knowing how to do damage. And I think a lot of PvP players would probably be served well by like, doing Mythic Plus and learning how to like, optimize the, you know, the damage that your class does. It gets a little bit weird when like, the builds aren't the same, but still. That's a little different, right? PvP players don't have to interrupt, yeah. PvP players don't have to do damage. So yeah, hopefully something something fun comes out of that, like... I saw Ben talk about like a, like a challenge, that'd be cool. Oh, cool. I don't think I'd seen that before. Edgy Int, it's kind of a weird combo. 